Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm a consultant at eCapital Advisors. Through my experience working with planning and analytics, I do feel pretty comfortable writing complex scripts for rules and TI processes. But honestly, I know little about writing MDX code. In this video, I'll show you how to work smarter, not harder, and allow planning analytics to write this MDX code for you. Now you may be wondering what MDX is or what it does. MDX allows you to create dynamic subsets within dimensions. And one thing that's great about the planning analytics workspace tool is that its subset editor can write these MDX codes for you. Once generated, you can copy and paste this code for use in TI processes or dynamic PACS reports in Excel. I'll show you an example. First, we want to create our desired cube view. And I've done that here. In this case, we have some hypothetical made up demo data that predicts sales of NFL jerseys by quarterback. Let's say we want to do a top tens list for the top 10 quarterbacks with the highest amount of jersey sales. What I'll do is I will right click the column header total sales, top or bottom filter, and I can choose however many members I want to show. In this case, I said I was going to do 10. Apply that. Now you can see that that MDX code has been updated. And if I want to copy and paste this into an Excel or a PAX report, we can do that here. So I've already, I'm in PAX and I've logged in to my environment that I want. I have this cube view that I want to add to the sheet. And you'll notice that when PAX creates dynamic reports, it likes to hide all this formatting above so we can only see up to row 13 and starting at column B, but I will just show format area to show what's happening in the background. So this row, if we go into the formula bar, is being populated based off of this MDX code in cell B11. But if we want to change this to whatever we would like, we can just update the cell. So going back into PAW, we will copy this. You have to do control C. And I'll paste that code wherever I want. It's best to put it in a hidden a cell that will be hidden when you end up publishing. So that has been pasted. And now instead of referencing cell B11, I will instead reference that new cell F11. You can see how this is updated accordingly. We have our top tens in order from highest jersey sales to lowest. Now we might decide we want to filter in a different way. We could, for example, use an attribute to populate which elements we want included. So I'll close this. And to remove that filter, I just right click the column header and clear filter, and it goes back to the way it was originally. If we want to, let's say we want to show quarterbacks who were drafted in the 2000s rather than the 2010 decade. So what I can do here is search available members, find an attribute, and we have an attribute for your drafted. Now we can say we want it to contain a certain string or code that we wrote, or we can make it equal a specific year or define different parameters. In this case, I'll say contains because I want it to be 2000s. So I'll search. And now I have this populated. I'll click the replace set with new insertion. And you'll see that this code, again, has been updated to show quarterbacks whose draft year started with the number 200, otherwise the 2000s. Apply and close that. And let's say, again, we want to sort this. Uh, if we want to sort it ascending, it'll show from least to greatest. 
and that MDX code again will have updated. So I'll copy and paste this into that PAX report. And now we'll reference that new cell F12. Voila. Just like in PAW in that cube view, we have the list of quarterbacks that were drafted in the 2000s, and they are sorted from least amount of sales to greatest. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, sharrison at ecapitaladvisors.com, or you can get in touch with us at our website, ecapitaladvisors.com. Thanks for watching.